Chapter 26, How to Know Someone. When Saturday came, Bat woke up feeling nervous. What if Israel wanted to hold Thor? Would Bat have to let him? What if Israel didn't like the snacks that mom had picked? Lemonade and crackers and apple slices and cheese. Mom had asked Bat what kinds of food that Israel liked and what he liked to do for fun, but Bat didn't have any answers. He had never noticed things like that. Well, most kids like to play handball at recess, he told her. Does Israel? Bat didn't know, but mom said that was okay because they didn't have a handball anyway. Maybe you boys could plant some of the seedlings, she suggested. Mom had a little plastic pot of herbs growing in the sunny kitchen window. And now that it was getting warm, it was time to put them into the garden in the backyard. I don't know if Israel likes to plant things, Bat said. Most kids like to dig in the dirt, Mom said. So when Israel and his dad arrived at 11.30, the first thing that Bat said when he answered the door was, do you like to garden? Israel shrugged, I guess, he said. Bat, said Mom behind him, invite them inside first. He was blocking the doorway. He realized that. He stepped back and said, come in. Thanks, said Israel. His dad said, thanks so much for inviting Israel over. Well, thanks for bringing him, said Mom. I'm Valerie. Tom, said Israel's dad, and they shook hands. Then he said, I'm just going to go run a few errands. Can I pick him up at two o'clock? After Israel's dad left, Bat said, we have apples and cheese and crackers and lemonade. And mom says we can plant seedlings in the garden. And I guess if you want, you can see my room. Actually, said Israel, I was hoping to meet the skunk. Oh, said Bat. Okay. Thor was in his enclosure. It was getting big. He was getting big enough to walk. But he still wasn't steady on his feet. He seemed to know that when Bat opened the enclosure, it was something to be excited about. Something he woke up and started scooting around for. He's tiny, Israel said. Bat scooped up Thor and held him close. Thor could see now, but not very well. Skunks didn't have a good eyesight. He's way bigger than he was, Bat said. He's got fur. When he was first born, he was almost bald, and he couldn't open his eyes or walk or anything. Can I hold him? Israel asked, putting his hands out. Well, that sounded terrible to Bat. Have you ever held a skunk before? No, said Israel. I don't know, said Bat. You might drop him. I could sit on the floor, Israel said, and you could hand him to me. Bat wanted to say no, but Mom said, Bat, honey, you had never held a skunk kit before, just a few weeks ago, but you've never dropped Thor. I don't know. Bat said again, would you promise to be careful? Yes, said Israel, I promise. Bat wanted to be sure that Israel was taking this seriously, that he understood just how important this was, being careful with Thor. So he looked straight into Israel's eyes. Maybe he could see something in there, like mom said, something that would let him know it would be okay to trust Israel. Israel's eyes were light green. They were framed by a thick black eyelash on every inch. Their pupils were round and black, just like everyone's. Bat wanted to see something in Israel's eyes, but all he saw were eyes. Then he looked at Israel's hand, the way that they were cupped together to form a safe little nest. He saw how Israel had overlapped his palms so that there was no way that Thor could slip between them. Bat didn't know much about eyes, but he knew about hands, mom's hands, so strong and sure when handling animals. Lawrence's hands, enormous but gentle anyway. Mr. Grayson's hands, with long fingers and interesting rings. Dad's hands, with nails clipped short and neat. Janie's hands, so clever at breeding. So those are Israel's hands. Israel's hands told Bat that Thor would be safe. So Bat placed the kit into them. He didn't even make Israel sit on the floor. Oh, he's so light, Israel said. He's so cute. He's perfect, Bat said. I'm going to learn everything there is to know about caring for skunks. Mom says we can keep Thor until he's old enough to release, and I'm going to become the best skunk caretaker in the world. Israel brought Thor up close to his face and rubbed him against his cheek. Do you think maybe you could teach me some stuff too? He asked. 
You want to learn about how to care for skunks and feeding them and everything? Bat asked. Yes, said Israel. Maybe they could plant the seedlings the next time Israel came over. Maybe today they could talk about skunks and research skunks and watch YouTube videos about skunks. Okay, said Bat. Israel handed Thor back to Bat, and Bat put on the sling and tucked Thor inside. He felt the skunk scratch and turn and then settled down to sleep. Well, Bat said, do you want to see my room? Sure, said Israel. So Bat led the way through their house, down the hall, and into his room. He opened the door. After you, he said to Israel. Before he followed Israel into his room, Bat turned to see Mom standing by the skunk enclosure. She was smiling, and she lifted her hand in a little wave. She looked happy, and Bat felt happy, really, really happy. He had a warm, sleepy skunk kit and a pouch around his neck, and he had a boy, maybe even a friend, visiting his room, waiting to research skunks with him. Bat didn't know how things would turn out with Thor, and he didn't know how things would turn out with Israel either. But right now, Bat felt as happy as he had ever felt in his life. He waved back at his mom and felt his face stretch into a smile just as wide as hers.